Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up the project. So with Animation 2, we are not providing you necessarily with each assignment, the assignment files. You're going to have to put that together. So we're going to work with projects um, for the most part to keep everything neat and tidy. And when you hand things in, you'll hand in the whole project just to make it easier, right? So that everything's in a folder, you just dump in the folder and that's your submission. So when we make a project folder, um, we want to make sure that the way that you bring the characters into Maya is really important. If I give you a character rig file and you just double click on it and open it up, you are editing um, the rig, right? When you open it up, you have the ability to edit it, which is dangerous. If you're an animator like me who doesn't know what you're doing and hit the delete key, you can rip things out of the rig. You can change things. So we usually in a studio don't work directly by importing or opening the rig. We use referencing and referencing is like a link. So think of it like a link to a web page. You do not have permission to edit the contents of the page, but the link takes you to that page. If the owner of that page updates the page, when you go there, it is updated automatically for you. So that's one of the advantages of working with referencing when you're collaborating in course materials. Let's head over to animation two. There's a folder here called rigs. That's where the rigs live. And Flora was very kind to split them up into simple and complex rigs. So we're going to use the simple rigs. And the rigs that we're going to use, I'm going to assign to each group. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the rigs first, open them up, and then I'll assign them to groups. In Maya, I've already created um, a project. So you, know, you go to file, <clears throat> project window, and I've already made a project. So I already have a folder that's ready to put all of the information into it. So I just created this walk cycle demo project. What you will do is you'll name your project according to the correct naming convention, which would be, you know, 3D 150, walk cycle, you know, your name, I start your name, your walk cycle, just like we did in term one. And I would recommend that you name the project folder and then copy that name and paste it onto the scenes folder, right? So that everything stays consistent, paste that name onto the play blast. So you only have to write the name once. If you write the name once on the folder, then everything else is just copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay, so I've got my project folder and then I have to go find it. So I put that in my Maya projects folder. There it is. And the rig files that I'm gonna open up, you only need one rig. I'm gonna grab four of them so I can open them all up and show everybody what the rigs uh, look like, okay? But the rigs go in here and I've already grabbed a couple of them. So I grabbed B-Boy, which is this rig over here, B-Boy. So all we need is just the Maya file. There's no textures with that rig. If a rig has textures and you put the textures in source images, that way, when you're sourcing the rig, it will know where to get the textures from. Okay, so always important to you know, check the rigs. There is also um, Bucket, which is another very fun, simple rig. And there's this one here, which is, uh, if anybody's a fan of Star Wars, it's a Star Wars battle droid, right? So you can do a droid walk. And the other rig we're going to try is going to be this one. Now this one, see what it has? Textures, right? So I'm going to go grab the textures and I'm going to go paste those inside of my source images. And then go back here and grab the rig file. Now there's two of them. There's version one and version 11. I'll take the highest number. And again, I'm going to put that into my scenes folder. I just want to check, see if there's anything else here that I need to grab. Images, nope, there's nothing in there. And scenes, looks like they have a pose library. We're not going to use that. That's okay. So I have four rigs here. Just remember that you don't have to replicate what I'm doing. You don't need four rigs. You just need the one rig that your group is going to be assigned. Go back to Maya, got my project set, and I'm going to go File, Create, Reference. The keyboard shortcut is Control R, and then it's going to go right to the Scenes folder and look for the rigs. This is why I put the rigs in the Scenes folder. 